Hickory Dickory Docks, some lads there just wrote a song called Clocks. The lads are Coldplay. <laughs> and the song is <laughs> Clocks. Beautiful. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, pressing the little buttons there. <laughs> XFM 104.9. What's that? What's that little mmm? Well, I think I do more than press the buttons. Right, see, this is this is it, right? Carl has had a little strop on since last night, okay? And it's <laughs> He's had a little strop on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, did, you said strop on. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> and, uh, it's- I don't- I, I don't know why. He says that I'm an annoying person. He yeah. says that I wound him up, right? Um, which I don't know. He, he says that you're- you're winding up because you're sort of like negative about I'm everything. I'm negative. Yeah. And um, but what I think it is, is because we pointed out that his lateness is unacceptable. Yeah. He said, meet you at six. He turned up at twenty past. He said, well someone stopped me in the corridor. I don't care. I've got stuff to do. I'm we have stuff to do. I think we're a bit busier than you, Carl. You've got one job. We've got loads of jobs. I keep telling you that. Yeah. You've got one job in a little room, a nine to five there, that you don't even get done in nine to five. That's why you're late and mucking around all the yeah, time. Yeah, because there's loads of work to do. Yeah, one right. job. No, cool. it's not. It's, it's one job with a lot of other jobs in it. It's like those little Russian dolls you get. <laughs> right? Well, it's so not, is it? Go. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everyone thinks, oh, he only sits in his studio messing about, making songs a phrase. That's what I do in my free time. <laughs> Which we've got coming up later. <laughs> <laughs> Super slick. <laughs> oh, I still dear. think 20 minutes late is an outrage though. Yeah, Carl. 20 minutes late is- Yeah, but I didn't say bang on six, I said, you said six. six. No, you didn't. You said six, which means six. Well, it doesn't. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? it doesn't. If it was a newsreader, I'd say, yeah, you've got to be on time. Do you know what I mean? If it was a six o'clock news, I wouldn't want to be late. But it's the fact that I said to you, I'm busy, I've got stuff no, to no, do. No, no, you didn't say that. You said, uh, six o'clock to sort uh, out tomorrow's show? I, I didn't. I know what I said, so... Yeah, well, well, that, so. well, you don't, because I remember you sent me a text. You didn't even, it wasn't even oh, a phone call. You didn't even have the politeness to call. Stephen has stitched him up by being a, a little bit more precise than him. It was a text and it said, uh, see you around six tomorrow, question mark? Around. You just said it. Well, you were six. It, that doesn't yeah. count. That doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, no, it does. What? So let, all right, you Rick. told me he said six. Well, he did. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Six o'clock, Rick. To me, it, around, even if it was around six o'clock, oh. that would be five to six oh. or five past six. It would not be twenty minutes oh. after the event, because yeah. that is late. Yeah. Well, you can't even. You can't. You've got nothing. You see, you haven't even got an excuse. Yeah, but then I turned up, yeah. right, and I said, right. Well, let's not argue about this. Let's come up with some good new features because we've been in uh, cheapest chimps. That's Probably. gone today. <laughs> good news. <laughs> <laughs> he never- he never liked Jeepers Chimps, Carl, right, did he? Right, he never liked it. Do you know what? Uh -huh. Do you know who's took it further? Donald McIntyre. <laughs> what? He's doing- he's doing a programme, Cheapest Chimps. <laughs> no, he's, he's not! not doing a channel well, well, we'll see. Again, I'll prove you right. Again. He's, he's not- wrong. he's not doing a programme, Cheapers Chimps, is he? Is. He's not- what do you mean?! He's doing a tour of trail on Channel 5 and it was saying, you know, is it five this. or is it about twenty past five? He's do doing this. He's done that. You know, now see him on Channel Five because he's moved to Channel Five. Right. He's saying first big problem, uh, chimps. You know, they're deer and that. And, uh, <laughs> no, they're not deer. He's sort of getting confused. No, no, f f fifty odd grand for a chimp. And he's saying, you know, he'll look into how much you can get a gorilla for. <laughs> what are you? What are in the name of God are you talking about? We'll talk about that later. But I don't know. What I don't know. What? I'm just saying that that's another idea. And then, yeah, yeah. So, so go on. You got off. This is why you never get <laughs> stuff done, and you're yeah. late. You got off the point. You were talking about arriving late. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying to you now. I'm just saying. I turned up late, so I said, right. Well, let's not argue. Yeah. I said, let's do some stuff. Yeah. You weren't having any of it. I think at one point you were trying to be sick on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> why? Just, just for fun. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's when I started getting annoyed. <laughs> he was very annoyed last night. <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, I, I can see where that could be annoying, but you just gotta think, hey look, so what? It's, you know. Well, well. I think you rub each other up the wrong way. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. Well, no more cheapest chimps today. But right. nothing to replace it, because we didn't have a chat. Mm -hmm. Songs of Phrase, we're doing that, you can win some stuff. Yeah, we've got the film that we got haven't done for the last two weeks. The final film, we won't be doing Let, that Let him down, it's two weeks- don't you say two weeks late on that. Well, yeah, can I just ask guys, is there gonna be some great music? Yeah. Well, what I've about some... something from the un Only Ones? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, classic, yeah another, another, girl, girl. another Girl, Another Planet by The Only Ones, the next film, 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Carl, cheer up. Come on. There's a war on. Chill out. Yeah.
I have to say, you you have become increasingly annoying uh, recently, Rick. Who I think, me? Yeah, chiefly. I tell you what it is. I think it's the the hot weather. Can I just draw? Just remind you when we were in the office recently. We've got a little office that we write in, we work in, and um, many many moons ago, uh, we were doing some work. This was when we were f writing the first series of the uh, of the office, and uh, we, I was typing away. I was just typing something up we'd written, and I read it back to Ricky. Uh, just to check he, he was happy with everything. I was reading it back, and. Uh, as part of the thing, there was a knock in the script, it's a, you know, knock, and I, so I was acting out for him and I knocked like this, and I realised he wasn't listening, he was in fact asleep underneath his desk, and he kn I knocked like that as part of, uh, you know, reading the stage directions, I knocked, he thought someone was coming in, he leapt up, plunked his head, <laughs> zipped up, thought someone, I said, Rick, it's not, I'm just acting that out for you. <laughs> he just wasn't paying attention, he, I, he wasn't uh, listening, what? and can I just draw, in, <laughs> so recently, we're, we're, in, we're in another office, we're typing away, and da da da, uh, I look round, he's got his shirt off. It was he's hot. Just, he's just taking his shirt off, right? So he sat there, 41-year-old man, or whatever you are, 40-year-old man, there with his shirt out. Beautiful. I mean, I've seen most parts of your body now at one point or another. <laughs> I think from the early days when we used to work at XFM, you started showing me bits of your anatomy, which is <laughs> something he does to people he likes, <laughs> friends of his. I'm sure you've seen most of it, Carl. No. And so, um, it's he not was sat there. Relationship. <laughs> he was sat there. And <laughs> there was a knock at the door because we'd asked someone who worked in the building to bring us something. And so I had to delay it by sort of not opening the door so he could get his shirt back on. Yeah. So he was running around trying to get his shirt back on. Because so what would they have thought? What would they have thought? They'd have walked in, he'd have just yeah, been the sat there, stripped to the waist. Didn't they sort of think, hang on, what's going on? Locked through the keyhole? No. So <laughs> no. It was ludicrous, because oh. as they came in, he'd sort of, he was flustered and he kind of was just <laughs> leaning against the window, <laughs> just looking like, I often stand here with my, uh, my shirt back it's to front. That, I was getting like Bernard Manning, you see Bernard Manning, whenever he goes into the house, he has to go upstairs to take his trousers off. I love that. <laughs> the fact that you, in your house, you've just got your pants and your vest on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want to do. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's all the time. It's not just, I mean, you haven't done that with me, taking your clothes off and that yet. But, like, last night we were sat in the pub and I was saying, right, you know, let's not even worry about new features then. Let's let's get the current ones, you know, going. Like what? Good. Like, pff, the one that I was trying to work out, the uh, cheeky freak of the week. <laughs> Think of that! <laughs> yeah, but Think I was of saying, that, though, as a normal conversation. Yeah, as, but as I, a, I'd looked online, right? I didn't find that much. I found, uh,. Actually, I'll tell you what I found later. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> we're looking for them, right? And um, then at one point, I think you said to me, "Go, on, you know, what about the Guinness Book of Records? Yeah, you know, they'll, little... they'll have like yeah. the, the best freak yeah. of the in the world or whatever." Yeah, ever. So uh, I said, "Yeah, yeah, bring one in." Now you've got one at home. Yeah, I've got. A but couple. you couldn't be bothered carrying that in today, so I had to go out of the pub that I was at. Yeah. Nip into Borders. Yeah. Buy a Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. Out of my own money, eighteen ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Bring it back, and then you said, "Oh, I don't know if I want to do this feature." <laughs> so it cost me twenty quid for that. I had to buy a video for Silence of the Lambs film clip. I'm actually out of pocket at the end of this. <laughs> but do you want to work with me? Is the thing. If you want to work with uh, people, would pay that sort of money to work with me, Carl. You're a lucky bloke. Think how many people think, "Oh, Carl, he gets to gets to drink and sit." <laughs> yeah. Well, you were making a cup of tea, and I surprised, didn't I? Little, su it's little surprises. Stop, see, you know, last night. Do you know when I left the pub in a bit of a mood because yeah. I, I just fed up with not getting anything done? Yeah. Walking down the road, I was thinking, how can I get out of this? How can I stop having to work with them? I'm thinking, I wonder if I, if I leave, I wonder if they'll be funny and they'll go, and then my boss will be giving me stick. I'm thinking, how long, how much notice have I got to give out? And all this is going through my mind. I'm walking home and I got in, said to Suzanne, I'm sick of it. She's going, you need to do it when I get a new kitchen. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, but how big does the kitchen need to be? I was saying, do we need a big kitchen? Can we get a small one? Have we got enough for a small kitchen? Do we need so many cupboards? Can we just have wood instead of steel? All this, try to get out of doing this. Yeah. It's always just, I always feel like, you know, because I, I like to think that I'm not perhaps as bad as him. Yeah, no. You annoy me in different ways. Like what? How does he annoy you? Well, stuff, stuff that, you know, I come up with ideas, say yeah. cheap as chimps. Yeah. Uh, rock busters springs yeah. to mind. Yeah. Uh, 15 like Taiwan. Uh, <laughs> 15 Taiwan. Let's just remind people what 15 Taiwan was. It was a little feature that I wanted to give a run, you know, give it a little run, see if people like it. Uh, the premise we'll, being? No, there's no premise, it's just a title. No, we were going to get 15 sort of ornaments, you'd explain them, and then people would call up and say, <laughs> that I'm from Taiwan. <laughs> see, Carl, you just explained why I didn't think that was a good idea. Yeah, By explaining the good... No, so, you know, the funny thing is, Steve, right, I was walking down Regent Street on Monday, Walked past one of these big stores, right, and they've got all famous quo quotes on the windows, right, yeah. and one of them was something like, an absurd idea is often a great idea. 
Yeah. Do you know who said that? Go on. Einstein. Yes. Which made me wonder, if you were his mate, would he ever have done E equals MC squared? <laughs> or would you have said, don't bother with that, it's not gonna work? Cos that's all you seem to do, everything I come up with, yeah. you put down. Yeah. Well that's one thing, he's negative, right, don't know, I don't know why, I don't okay. know why he's, he is. What he, else? He messes me about, I get him concert tickets for stuff and, yeah. and you say, oh, I didn't bother going. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is annoying. You come in, you know, five minutes to go with tracks that need editing. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. little bag, yeah. that bag that was free. Yeah, you got a free bag today, an yeah. XFM little rucksack thing. Yeah. yeah. You were like, oh, what's this, what's this rubbish? Yeah. Ricky said, I'll have it, they're great. You yeah. said, no, I want it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's so, free, I need it. Yeah. Mm, I'll give that as a gift else? or something. So, so, I mean, I think on reflection, Steve is probably a little bit more annoying than me. Mm. <laughs> I, I won't go that far. <laughs> you are, you are annoying. If I had to go away for a week somewhere, yeah. if it was a quiet place- Well, you are again, aren't you? That's two holidays you've had this week, this year, I mean. If it was a busy place, I'd probably go with you, cos people, do you know what I mean, staring at me all the time and that, if I'm walking around with Steve. <laughs> No, I'm just. Your <laughs> Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl. Yeah. All right, let's start again. Yeah. I'm going to be the same, but let's start again. <laughs> so what I mean is, stop being grumpy and let's let me carry on being annoying. Because yeah. Steve's not going to change. He's yeah. not going to suddenly start going. You know what, Carl? I think your ideas are really good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember when he came up with that idea, that game show idea? Oh. <laughs> and you went, you went, well, it's not an idea, Carl. And he came to me and said, he said, oh, I've had it with Steve, what's it? He went, how did the office ever get on telly? <laughs> well, what was the idea, Greg, in summary? I don't want to talk about it on her because someone will nick it. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> they will. Donald McIntyre's already got cheap as chimps. <laughs> I can say, I bet they're in the making of Rockbusters, as we speak. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you yeah. any more about it. I reckon Bob Oldness is probably nicking yeah, that idea. Exactly. Well, Cheeky little... Right. Song's a phrase coming soon. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, what is it this week? What's the, what's the phrase? We're, um, remember the story I told you ages ago about, uh, about my neighbour having horse in the house? Oh yeah. Having yeah. a horse, yeah, a horse. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's happened with that? Lenny Henry doing it as a series? So, uh, uh Are people nicking your ideas left, right and centre? Well, that's that's the phrase we'll be using anyway. What? Um, my neighbour had horse in her house. How many words is that? Six. My neighbour had. So, there's no grammar either. My neighbour had horse in the house. <laughs> my neighbour had horse in house. <laughs> what? I Wait. What is the phrase? My neighbour had horse in her house. Add or, add, is there, oh, are there any <laughs> prepositions? Are it. there any prepositions in this sentence? Look, don't judge it beforehand. You see, okay. I'm turning over a new leaf. I think this is a great idea. I think Carl's a genius, and I look forward to hearing this enormously. Yeah, okay. And I won't be sick on your leg, or squeeze your head, or make you jump when you're making a cup of tea. Just looking through the Guinness Book of That's still the funniest thing, isn't it? Squeaking at someone when they got a cup of tea. <laughs> right. There are a lot of what strike me as seemingly pointless. Uh, feats. Uh, uh, the Ginsburg Records is it, right. The Ginsburg Records is great. I used to I used to love it as a kid. I've had about ten copies in my life. The last one I bought a couple of years ago, President. It was really good. I, I I love it. I love the real records. Tallest, fattest, thinnest, best, fastest, most expensive, biggest, and all that. But the ones that really annoy me are the ones that. The reason these people are in there for it are the only people that tried. What? Yeah. Bouncing the milk bottle on your head. Most watches eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I've just found that one. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kim Sung Do from South Korea ate five watches, the entire watch with the exception of the wristband, in a time of one hour thirty four minutes. What do you make of that, Carl? Made him regular. <laughs> Come on. How did they time him? <laughs> 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 Most live rattlesnakes held in the mouth. Eight live rattlesnakes held by, um, it just says an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, this gives me an idea, Carl. <laughs> Talking of idiots. Yeah, do you want to get into these real records? No. Carl, come on, come on. Be brilliant. There's, th there's things in there that are just absolutely anyone could do. Like that one in Big Brother I was watching it, and it was, um, uh, balancing sugar lumps. I wanna go, uh, how many people try that? Are there schools around Britain going, listen, we gotta get in the sugar lump award. <laughs> we gotta, it's grassroots level, there's not enough kids balancing sugar lumps. <laughs> how can we compete in the world market? Yeah. I but was looking at it last night and there was one about, uh, about the farthest that a dog swam. Um, <laughs> I think it was something like nine miles, but it had no choice, did it? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he took it out to the Atl Atlantic or something, and so it didn't want to do it. Threw it in the water. Yeah. So yeah. it's not alright to put it in a bin bag and chuck it in a canal, no. but oh, it's for a world record. <laughs> yeah. Nine miles it did. 
Oh, God. Possible ones that you could do, Carl. What's, what? the, mo what's the most Forrest Gumps fitted in one wheelie bin? <laughs> what about this one for you, Carl? Uh, the record stands at the moment for most arrows caught by hand, but that's quite tricky. So what about most arrows caught by head? <laughs> Yeah. And you would just fire arrows at your they head. They would, they would just skim off him. Do you think the, so? Yeah, the roundness. It would never actually get any sort of, you know, connection. Fastest human crab. Could you do that? Can I'll you, do can, that. Can you What's form the crab? Can you do that? What's that? You just like go bending over backwards well, and running. Do no? Yeah, right, what, about, uh, um, what, what would you be good at? What about hamburger stuffing? Oh, right, uh, right Carl. <laughs> uh, let me, t all right. In the mouth, you mean? Well, it says the record for stuffing the most regulation size hamburgers, including buns, in the mouth at one time is how many? How many uh, hamburgers with buns in so the mouth? So this is just. You're not swallowing anything, you've just got stuff in your mouth. You'd be so good at this because you're shaped with your head. You've got a shape. His head's just like Hamburglar. You'd be good at this, man. Yeah. Honestly, you'd be perfect. You look like Zippy. And the great thing is, your head's empty, so you could get more in there. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? This guy had a oh, brain. Oh, do to that. With. Do that. What is it? Is it? Could he? Could it? Is it possible? Is it well, mental? How many do you think it was? There were I three burgers in buns. What do you reckon, Carl? What? How, how quick he ate them? He didn't eat them. It's just how many he can stuff in his face. So literally, ha hold them within his cheeks and his mouth, but don't swallow anything. So what? How many? How many burgers? How many burgers did he manage to get into his his face? Uh, so it's a fella. It's, it's not. Yes. About. Not five? No, 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 three is the three. world record. Three is well, the world record. How big are they, though? It just says regulation size. So we go to m McDonald's or Burger King and get just hamburgers, I and think, that would yeah, count? Yeah, just the regular burgers, and we'll just stuff it them in count. there. We've we got to get Norris McWhirter. Well, we, we could practice it now, and then if, we, if, if you're a triumphant, if Come you get on, four in I there. I don't, you know I've got a, a small throat and that. Well, I, you don't I have to swallow that's a great thing. Yeah, but I don't, I don't like it. As a kid, I'm choking on stuff, and I get funny about it. Well, no, well, no, just to keep, to keep your tongue at the back of your mouth, and we have to stuff the hamburgers in. No, I don't. Oh, come on! Do something! Carl, that is Dynamite Radio. Well, well, here go, here go, here. Steve will go and get the hamburgers. Have I got to pay for them? No, Carl, give I'm us the money. I'm not paying for them. Oh, I've come just on. spent 25 quid in total on a video on a Guinness Book of Records. That's costing me another four quid. <laughs> I'm come not on. doing it. No, I'm not oh, doing it. Oh, come on. Come no, on. Give us the money. Get, you're coming back. Too, no, Andrew, I don't do it. oh, come on. I'm not doing it. Come on. Do it. It's a, it's an interesting thing. Come on. No. You could be in the Guinness Book of Records, Carl. No, leave it. See, see if we can. Oh, please. Phone in if you want Carl no. to eat burgers. You don't have to swallow them. You can spit it all out. You can be sick on my leg after. Oh, come on. No, what? I don't like the, the stretching thing either. It don't stretch it. You it can will stretch. I'll be like the little bloody dog on the Winston Churchill ad. Don't swear. Well, I'm just saying on that. Air. I don't, I don't know, but we apologise to the radio authority. Carl is not only swearing, but he's refusing to do things oh. we come up with. But the radio authority will be happy with me stuffing three burgers in my face. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah, we will. No, but go. I'll give you the money. Can we do please, songs please. of phrase or something? No, let's no, do it. Right, play, play a record. record. Play a record. He's gonna go, you're gonna do it, Carl, or, you, or you're fired. No, mm. actually, he wants that. No, you're gonna do it. Do it. Please do it. It'd be great. Honestly, please do it. What about please. chicken McNuggets? Meet halfway. No! There's no record for chicken McNuggets, well. mental! Steve. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, where are you? I'm, I'm in one of uh, the capital's many burger joints. I'm just about to go up now and order uh, some burgers. Where are you? What? What? Why? Where are you in? I'm in McDonald's in uh, in Leicester Square. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, what are you getting? Just just get uh, get get, get, yep. get Hello, too there. many. I need to order uh, five regular hamburgers, please. If that's all right. Sorry. Five hamburgers. Yes. Yes. Are you, you're probably wondering why I'm ordering only five hamburgers, aren't you? And let me tell you why. Uh, my friend is going to try and break the world record for putting burgers kidding. into his fat, stupid face. Um, what do you make of that? Exciting? Yeah. Do you wish him good luck? Yeah. What's your name? Tyre. Tyre? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Tyre. I'll try and get Tyre to uh, wish you good luck in a minute, Carl. Mm -hmm. um, five, short, five, five, five should be enough. <laughs> the world record is what? Three? Three, yeah. Okay, good. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what, um... Oh, here we go. How much is that? Three forty-five. Three forty-five for five hamburgers? It's good, isn't it? It's good value. <laughs> <laughs> it is really, isn't it? Really, yeah. I mean, if there's anyone from Hamburgers, this, uh, from McDonald's listening, they'd probably want to uh, give us some free stuff, I would thought. <laughs> I would thought, right? Uh, would you just uh, wish my friend good luck before uh, you... He's just on the end of the line there. Just say uh, good luck, Carl. Good luck. <laughs> All right, then. There you are. That's the people from McDonald's wishing you good luck. Mm. Carl, I'll be back shortly with the burgers. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, do you want the pickles left in? 
beverages here, yep. <coughs> and uh, so I don't know, how should we begin, Carl? Do you want to just look at the size of these burgers? They're oh, oh, small. um, look, they can see it on webcam, can't they? They can see us stuffing these burgers into your mouth. Mm. And I'm, and I'm, by the way, I'm filming this, Steve. Look, Brilliant. Look, 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 look camcorder. Yeah. We, we'll put this on unseen footage on a DVD or something. Or uh, maybe on the website. On the Oh, Carl, what yeah, if you break brilliant. the record? Okay, Carl, I'm coming round now to, uh, to just uh, monitor this and adjudicate. Well, What's the web- if people want to see this on the webcam, what is it? xfm.co.uk. Right, okay. Hold oh, on. So oh, can I, can I, Steve, I'm can not I do that? Funny. I'm not being funny, right, but I think I have got, like, a bit of a wheat thing. You've got a bit of a what? A wheat allergy Oh, thing. don't give me that! No, seriously, me head's- I've, I've been eating a lot of shredded wheat recently. <laughs> and me head's got a bit bigger. Carl, I don't think you can let us down now, mate. So just you just got to put that first. No, I can't. In. I can't put that like that in my mouth. On it's with. I, I've what got to break it up. About? I've got to break it up. No, can't well, break you it up. can't break it up. It doesn't say you can't on the rule I thing. It does. It's it doesn't. I can't look. I physically can't. Try it. The, the I can't look. I'd have to be Jay Goody. <laughs> to be <able> to <laughs> Seriously, look. Oh, oh. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Yeah, I know, but you're not doing- you're not approaching it right, that's oh, it. Oh, come on, go on! That's come almost- to, to keep Oh, going. God, he's not gonna do one! Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good work, that's good work! Keep going, How did I get a Keep pushing! Easy, keep pushing! Easy, keep pushing! Easy, keep, pushing. Easy, keep, pushing. keep pushing! Get one in at least! Easy, Get in. one in at least! Get one in! Easy, in. Get one in! Disappointing. You couldn't even get one whole burger in your mouth. I did, kind of. Yeah, but there was a bit sticking out, it just looked messy. There yeah, was but, no but you were saying about putting it in whole, and you c I don't think that's the rule. Okay. It's well, like so you get more you... in a suitcase if you, if you put things in properly. So you don't just get all your clothes and chuck them in, so it's about, I reckon you've got to rip it up a bit. Okay, do that then. All See right. how many you can get in? You've got to get in two. No, just, just one. No, well, it's, no, it's no three, three, it pack it in. What do you do? Pack your cheeks first. Honestly, Steve, my head is, is swelling a bit, because I, I have got a wheat thing, a wheat <laughs> allergy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good then, there'd be more room! <laughs> right, okay, look, oh, Carl so is now just sticking it in his cheek. Right. Yeah. Don't eat any. You can't swallow any. It's like a hamster, you've got to work it like a hamster. Yeah, stick it in, come on. Look <laughs> 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 He looks like Marlon Brando in The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> come on! Right. Don't lose any, yeah. Right. right. Pack it in, then use your fingers C to pack it in. Come That's on! It. Wedge it in. Like you're grating the bath. I can't do this either. <laughs> keep going, keep going! <laughs> keep going, don't give up so early! <laughs> this is part of the problem, you just give up, Carl, yeah, too quickly. you failed again. It's like your history O level. Come on, Carl, be a- come on, do something well, one, succeed man. at something! Push it in, you've got a whole, nearly a half a burger there. Or I'll come round- I'll come round there. You're chewing, don't chew! I've got a bit of food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said, but is that a what, whole is one? that a whole one? No. no, it's not. I can see bits left. Come on, Carl. Come on, keep I working can't at it. Do you keep working <laughs> at it. But there's so much space in your mouth, I can see it. <laughs> He's going mad. Okay, okay, we do another one. We're we doing another one. That one then. We're doing it. Oh, are you alright? <laughs> are you going to be sick? Are you alright? <laughs> Alright. Oh. oh god, should we play a record? Um, he's making my eyes water now. I apologise for that. You're the producer, Carl. Yeah. It jumped twice. Well, it's not, it's not my fault if people are slipping around because of burgers on the floor. <laughs> You're trying to squeeze my head when the song's playing. <laughs> what difference does that make? Well, anyway. Right. Um, don't take any- Right, I've just, um, I've just got some grapes there. Um, we've, uh, we've counted them out. What's the record then? Okay, well, the most grapes eaten in three minutes. You've got three minutes, Carl, and you've got to beat Matt Hand from the UK, who consumed a total of 133 grapes uh, in three minutes on the 8th of November 2001. Right, there's 150. So there. There's 150 in there. Right. Okay. So you've got three minutes. What are the rules? The rules are. You just got to eat them and swallow them. And it's, it's like Cool Hand Luke, right? You got to just stuff them in and don't choke, because I got worried with the burger. That's a good advert for McDonald's, isn't it? Not only was I impressed by the cheapness of them, but he couldn't even get one in his mouth. Yeah. So, yeah. value for money there. Maybe they'd like to send us some free stuff. Yeah, free, free stuff. Or just money. Any some money would be good. Next uh, week, Carl, you're eating Sony Walkmans. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Available for... Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, right, Carl. Right, I think this is, this is gonna be good, right? What we're gonna do, right? We've got Song 2 by Blur set up. We know that's two minutes, so we can play that, because that'd be boring radio hearing Carl choke, wouldn't it, for yeah, three minutes? Exactly. So, when I say go, Carl, 
Right, I'm gonna go right on the minute, right? You've got to have a handful of grapes and you've got to press song two by Blur. When we come back, you'll be stuffing your fa- hold on! You'll be able to do that. Uh, can you- can you work the buttons? I can, can do, do that. I can no, do I don't that. think you can- no. you cannot touch the grapes until the opening note yeah, of song two begins. Yeah, but hold on, when the- when the Blur two- when song two stops, can we just press up the fader so you- cause you'll be stuffing worry, your fa- Don't worry, we're almost- we got- let's go- if we go, uh, okay. any second now. Okay, right, okay, ready, three, come. two, one, GO! <laughs> come on, don't- don't make him laugh, he's choking, he's choking, hold on. <laughs> oh, Carl! Quick! Come Keep on. going, Carl! Come on, Tom! Come on! What happened? Did he just throw up? No! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him laugh! Oh, come on! We can make, on. we can make wine. <laughs> come on, Carl! You're doing come so on, well, Carl. mate. I want to go. Come on! Only. Uh... <laughs> Why are you making him laugh? That was a world record attempt. Look, he's over the. <laughs> Keep going! Come on! Up. You got 25 seconds! <laughs> Come on! Oh, I think that was, uh, that was a shame actually, because you were doing well, but something went wrong. I know, and I think those are bigger grapes than the ones I've seen before. They're quite big grapes, look at his face, he looks so despondent. Come on, Carl, eight seconds. Just a few more. Five. Come on, what's the matter? Two. Two. One. one. It's all over, Carl. It's all over, we better count how many you did. Just to... Cause we, we can get good at this. We can get good at this over the weeks. I think that was a fairly pitiful attempt, actually. I really thought you had a... It's interesting, actually. These are harder records than you might think. Yeah, I know. Six, eight, ten... How do you feel after that record-breaking attempt? I'm not happy with that. <laughs> what are you not happy about? The fella who did it, was he in hospital and just had loads of grapes? <laughs> I was bored. <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't producing a radio programme, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, neither are you. What, uh, what, what was tricky about it? What did you find hard? I think having Ricky standing <laughs> over me, yeah. sort of shouting, Go on! <laughs> isn't normal. <laughs> no. <laughs> but did that, so that wasn't... He hasn't eaten any! Hold on, that's 50, you there, too. That's quite that's quite a poor attempt then by the seam of it. Um would you think about trying to maybe do that again in a couple of weeks? Would you no. do some practice and try that again? No, I'll leave it. Leave it for the <laughs> experts. <laughs> <laughs> and um there was I noticed a tricky point, um maybe sort of when you had about uh, fifty seconds to go. You seem to be spewing things into the bin. What was that? Again, uh, mainly Ricky standing oh, over me so eighty eight. He's what? got eighty eight left. Okay, so what's the mental arithmetic there? Because we hit put how many in uh, uh, was it hundred and fifty in the thing, wasn't it? What, what, did I, what did I say? What did I say I had left? Well, I'm not doing it again, 88. so... He had 88 left. So, 62. God, you're only at 62. What's the matter with you, Carl? There's people start you at 62. That is rubbish. That's oh, disappointment. That's so you've, well, you've, so you failed on two world record attempts that's there. 62, and the records are... That is rubbish. What were you doing? Oh, yeah, but like I said, I've got a small throw. I can't, I can't drink a drink quick. Ever since the Mr. Freeze pops when I was six, <laughs> that I nearly choked on, I nearly died on. I, I can't go back. It'd be like asking, I don't know, someone who got run over to play Frogger or something. <laughs> I, I, What's Frogger? What you mean, real life Frogger? Game. Well, just a computer game yeah. brings back memories, doesn't yeah, it? And yeah. I can't do that. What's Frogger? Does Frogger get run over? Yeah. <laughs> It's a little frog. <laughs> like, it has to run across a busy do you know, road. Do you know who he reminded me of? Uh, apart from Hamburglar and Zippy and all that. When he was munching those grapes because the shape of his head, it looked like a game of Pac Man. Yeah. <laughs> it did it. As he was getting to him, it looked like. <laughs> we should have had that music. <laughs> it looked just like it. Oh, God. Do you remember there was, a, uh, there was a board game version of Pac Man? Was there? I mean, the only thing that Pac-Man had was the fact that it was on a computer and it was a little face eating things. But imagine that as a board game. But there's, but there's, there's board games of, like, things that you don't need board games for. Yeah. It's like, there's board games of charades. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> you don't need that. It's like parlor games. Board games of, let's watch the telly. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's play sit around. And it's all like, 1999. You don't need it. New from Mattel. A stick. Simply run along, clanking it against a, uh, a fence or <laughs> a metal grate. It's fence stick. In a picture <laughs> of it, like, oh, Nan. Man, that's my stick! I'll tell you that's what. That's my fence stick. Do you know I saw in, uh, in a shot recently? The board game of Cold Feet. <laughs> the TV show. <laughs> no that is a that winner. You are John Thompson. Yeah. Go back. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, a good game. Drink eight points. Go on. <laughs> Songs of Phrase. Songs of Phrase. Nicely done. Right, we'll get this going. How right. do you feel, Carl? Uh, yeah, Again, right, disappointment. Right. Disappointment probably to your family and friends. 
Well, I don't think they'll be get that gutted, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right, the song's a phrase. Well, Carl, why don't we pledge and we'll come back with songs of phrase? Because it's a big tease. People love that. Yeah. You know, it's one of the hot new we've got, radio We've got quizzes. one more thing for you to eat. No, I'm not doing any more of it. Seriously. <laughs> Play a song? Mm. Right, song's a phrase next. Right. Feed. XFM 104.9. I bet that is a record. Of eating grapes whilst DJing. Possibly. I'm assuming if there's any listeners out there that have a uh, record-breaking attempt they'd like to see Carl undertake in future weeks, they should email in. I think, uh, I think Jono's got that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, what have we got then? That's that. Right. That's the silly side. Now let's get on with the proper show. Right, <laughs> song, songs, a phrase. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Um, on to the classy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do the prizes first? Right. Uh, no, then we're right. here. They are. I haven't seen these, but I'm excited as ever. All right, we have a T-shirt there, arbitrary T-shirt that you have. Probably stolen off of someone. What does it say? Is it the red, the red hot chili peppers? So oh, that's, right. that's not too bad. It's a big T-shirt there. Um, oh, do, 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 do. On DVD, this, uh, should you be giving this away? This looks like it's the film "Don't Say a Word," yeah. and it's um, it doesn't have all the proper packaging. It's literally the uh, the disc, the DVD disc, just loose. So enjoy that. The current album from Oasis. Uh, Heathen Chemistry, uh, DVD, on DVD, The Life of Mammals, the complete series, the David Attenborough recent DVD, uh, that. Walking with Cavemen, which I think is a DVD, it's all currently on TV, isn't it? And, well, there um, you go. Not also bad. the X-List, which is a good new compilation, double CD compilation from XFM with loads of stuff on there, including Nerd, Snoop Doggy Dog, uh, Athlete, all sorts. Go on then, Carl. So not bad, actually. Simple nice story. one. Why right, don't? so, uh, yeah, it's a phrase that, that's been said at some point, or said a lot on the show. We've had, like, Harry Chinese Kid. We went back to uh, my mum had wind for five minutes and that. Uh, today we're looking at uh, my neighbour had a horse in a house, right? Yep. If you remember, we were talking about that probably about a year and a half ago now. Yeah, yeah, of course, right. people, of course, we remember. They've been talking about it ever since, Carl. I imagine. Yeah. Well, so it's famous. It's, the, it's a world famous phrase. My neighbour had a horse in her house. <laughs> right. So this is uh, this week's songs a phrase, and what I've done is I've got songs with those words in that make up that sentence. Yeah. You've got to email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. There's six different songs, right? You email in with what? I what don't know how there is six. Me neighbour add horse in house. Is it really that sentence? Me neighbour add a horse in a, a, a house. It does work, honestly it works. Okay, yeah, right? okay, don't bother explaining it, just ready? play it. Right, yeah. so here's the, uh, here it is. We're just My neighbour had horse in a house. Right? <laughs> What in <laughs> God's uh, name uh, was that? Yeah, name the six songs. Had horse in a house. Yeah. <laughs> Are we naming the artists or the songs? Either. Uh, artists. Anyone who gets anything can get a prize. What's Jeez. more, Carl? Artists, here we go. Had horse in a house. <sighs> oh, that's tricky, Carl. That's very hard. Once more. Had horse House. <laughs> Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'll give it another letdown. Another letdown. It's brilliant, this. No, no. How can you just say that after I've just been stuffing grapes in my face and that? Well, you, fa you found you didn't get one burger in, right? Even when you tried to, to chop it up, there's three, right? So that's it. it well, Steve, out of the goodness of his heart, went to McDonald's, okay? I got some grapes You at 62. That's got nothing to do with this, though. This is my and game show here. Bob Olness didn't say, yeah, Blockbusters is good, but I never see him eating grapes. <laughs> so this is a different thing, forget that. Right? <laughs> Here's the clips again, here's the clips. <laughs> oh, you know I said I was going to turn over a new leaf and not criticise your ideas? I think it's the end of this one, mate. Oh, he's done it again. It's atrocious. Ricky Dr. Vase at xfm.co.uk. He used to be friends, that is Carl's favourite record of the year. Yeah. yeah, new, new he music, gets, better new he gets, music. He gets, he gets one, he gets one play a year and he chose that. <laughs> That's what he chose. It's alright, but I mean, that favourite track, innit? He played that. That was, that was Carl's choice. Just something new. On XFM 104.9. Don't worry, we've got some really good stuff coming up later with me and Steve. If you're from the 70s, <laughs> you might like it. You see that he's getting too cocky, isn't he? It's arrogant. It's sort of like he's. I, I mean, we try and we've tried and given him something in his life. He's got. You know what I mean? He's. Is he comes in and tells us this this sob story of just like a trail of failures, and we've said, Carl, come under our wing, right? He just started picking up on him. A few other people were, like, and then he does that. He, he fails at the burgers. He fails at the grapes. He will not trust us with, you know, what we want to do. I don't know what more we can do. 
It's like I've saved a mouse from a from a cat's jaws, and it turned around and bit me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's ex that is a brilliant analogy. It's a bit like we were trying to give you something that you could care about, that you could be passionate about, that would somehow give a meaning to your life. You would be in the Guinness Book of Records alongside. I mean, Bubble. Bubble failed. Do you want to be Bubble? Do you want to be Bubble? Or do you want to be the bloke with the milk bottle on his head? <laughs> exactly. Who's in there? <laughs> the guy who ate the watches. Yes! Now, I've got an idea, Carl, because you're getting all stressed out. I don't know what it is. You're getting funny. I don't know what it is. I don't know what. Because you're annoying me. Well, you he say that. started midweek. I don't, I don't think I annoy anyone else, so it's just you on that. So. I thought maybe we could all three of us go away to a little health farm for a weekend, just get a, like a, a triple room right, and just- that isn't happening. Why? Well, you've just reminded me because you've been annoying me, Steve started getting on your case, you know, sort of ganging up on me. I'll tell you now, Steve, I just forgot. Remember a couple of weeks ago, you said to me that my pub team, pub quiz team is rubbish? Yeah. Right, well, it doesn't matter anymore because you're not part of it this time. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad, because it's interesting you say that, Carl. <laughs> Carl, you say that, because I tell you this, I found someone, I found someone, mate, who could be, uh, filling that tricky fifth member. I wanted to test them out this week, mate. On well, your team, on your team. Test that on your team. Because Carl. I'll tell you what this is like, I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, Paul Ince, who used to play with Man United, uh -huh. right? But everyone used to say he's the governor, right? Even the players used to call him the governor, yeah. right? And Alex Ferguson at Man United was like, I'm not having this, yeah. I'm in charge here. And he got rid of him. And that's what's happened. You, you were moaning. The other week, saying you, 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 your team's rubbish, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, let's see how you do on your own. Right? <laughs> Carl. He's turned, isn't he? I'll be honest, Carl. I'd like to be on your team. Well, sorry, uh, Paul Ince. <laughs> You'll have to go and join Middlesbrough or wherever it is he's gone to. Carl, <laughs> what can I do to get back on your team? It's not happening. I've already filled you boots. Don't let him have the upper hand, Steve. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what always annoys me, though. Ricky spends most of the show slagging you off, right? Having a go at you. Uh, annoying you in the week, squeezing your head, making you eat burgers, right? But you always take out on me. He I'm the one who always gets the insults. I'm the one who's now relegated from your team. Why, when, when, you see, this is the thing. You're just as bad as him, really, because you're siding against me, because you know that I'm, I'm willing to take it. You, what, it, the truth of it is this, you know <laughs> that Ricky Gervais is keeping you, he's keeping you in burgers and grapes, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> he's the one that's got you in Heat Look, Magazine. I just spat all over you, do you? Because it's Booker Records. You see? Get me a tissue. He's just squirted tea, laughing all over your Booker Records. I'm you made me laugh. I'm gonna get the flat for that. No, it, it's because you made me laugh when I was drinking, because you went, it's me, like that, and it made me laugh, and I spat I just, I just think it upsets me that you, that you never, oh. you never pick on Ricky, you never ever go in, because you know he's, he's the one who's, ki who's raised your oh profile and made you a little bit of a celebrity. We've, we've missed one here. Using his teeth, Raman Andy Appan, right, Hustato Coconut. He did what? He husked the coconut. He's the fastest coconut husker in the world. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, he pulls huskers, he pulls husks. What's that? <laughs> little mice, what's, what's a coconut husking? He, he pulls the husks up and look at Carl, just with his head down. <laughs> Carl, come on. What's the matter? Because that cost me twenty quid. I know, well I'll see you alright. I'll see you all over the world's smallest man. <laughs> Stood him next to the world's biggest man. Right, I'm in a bad mood now. Oh dear. Oh, I, I so you haven't got a team, St Steve? I'll sort you out. Come to me. I'll sort you out. Seriously, Don't worry. Mate, I, I found win. someone who would help you win this week, Carl. And now, I was going to tell you about it. And now, Steve, you can be on my team this week. And, I've, and I know something about the quiz that Carl doesn't know. So I'll so. tell you. I just think that it's it's so ungrateful. Whatever. So ungrateful. Right, songs a phrase. Just give it a couple more plays. Just yeah. email him. We'll pick a winner soon. Uh, Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Well, this isn't, this is rubbish this week. No one knows it because it's rubbish. Steve was right. Mm. The six songs there, so if you know what they are, just. That's the end of that, I think. That's e the end of Songs of Phrase. E email in. I think. My We've got no, 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 no. That's the last week for that. that okay, is rubbish. Well, why don't you give us some monkey news? Is it monkey yeah. news time? Huh? Come on, uh, monkey news. We'll play a song and we'll no, 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 Cheer up, Carl. Is Wait. it new? Is this Waiting new? for an alibi with Thin Lizzy. Oh, what year was it Doesn't have to be new, it's brilliant. What year was it out? Oh, Einstein wasn't new when he came up with the greatest theory ever. By Thin Lizzy on XFM 104.9. Right, okay, just, this is, oh. Of all the, with all the trauma in the world, I thought we'd come on to a little bit, and he's just brought it right down, a little mank twat <laughs> whinge. <laughs> no, but I mean, do you know what I mean? He's had a go at you, he's thrown you off his team. I'm devastated by that. That was, you know, that was the one thing I was looking forward to this week. To be fair, you were looking forward to 
telling him you were taking over the team, so it's sort of poetic justice. Well, it, has, it has blown up in your face, to be fair. True, I was, I was trying to squeeze him out of his own company. <laughs> yeah, you were going to try and get him out of his team. Yeah, well, I... So, I, I it was I a had... hostile takeover, and they sort of, they clubbed together. To be honest with you, there's normally three regulars on his team. I got two of them on my side, <laughs> one of which was his girlfriend. <laughs> So, um, I only had to work on him <laughs> to try and get him to resign, oh, no. and we'd have been away. Still, mm. you know, um, we should give, um, the prizes away Yeah, well, Carl. this is, this has been dreadful, that, this thing. We started <laughs> off well with him trying to force burgers in his mouth, and then he'd come up with this tat. I mean, this is, this is the end of this, cos it's, I mean, it was shoddy to start with, and I do a couple, but this is oh, yeah. not only- well, uh, 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 I'm just saying. This is what I was saying in the pub yesterday when you tried to be sick on me leg. I was saying, come up with new <laughs> ideas if you don't like them, but you diss them on air, well, it's just disappointing, isn't it? And oh, I said, uh, right. what's that? I was disappointed when I was choking before. <laughs> <laughs> we were disappointed as well. Yeah, you didn't try. You didn't try with the grapes. You were just like right. chewing on yeah. that. You meant to just throw them in and swallow them. Songs of phrase. It was six songs. It yeah. sounded like this. Boring. Head boys in a house. Well, what are they? Just give you six answers. songs there. We had uh, Lionel Richie, My Destiny for my. Tricky. Neighbour. Oh, that's XFM. Ooh. My neighbour was, uh Space. Space. Yeah. Neighbourhood. Mm. Had. Uh Harry Connick Jr. Had to be you. Yeah. Right. Had. The neighbour had. A horse. Horse from America. Day. America, yeah. Uh had a horse. In, 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 in was Lisa Sansfield with, uh <laughs> Pathetic. In all the right places. Oh, <laughs> pathetic. Did anyone get that? Did anyone get that? And no one got, no one got that. Animals. So that was pointless. Alright, well, the most, well any, the most anyone got was three, yeah. and so uh, we're gonna give it to Deborah, and that's yeah. possibly Deborah and Kate. They right. got at least three of those, so well done. Okay, well done. Well done. Yeah, there's prizes on the way. That's the end of that. So that's the No Cheapest Chimps, none of that anymore. What have you got left? Do you got the film to do? Let's see what you've done with the film. Hang no. on, I'd love to have some monkey news, though. Go on then. Got any monkey news? Yeah, I've got some monkey news. Come on then. No, Rick, come on. Cheer up. Well, up. it's it's just sort of like he moans that he's got too much time on his hands and he comes up with that shh <laughs> Okay. Shite. Monkey news, the jingle please. Ooh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> okay. Right, there's, there's been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me twenty quid. Yeah, well that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so that's there's, there's one in there. New music, new music. New, new monkey news from last September. You're a lord. Come on. Waster. Please, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this, this monkey in, uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm. And, uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey. And, uh... You're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said, uh, the people in charge were like, oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids? Brilliant. Right. So, uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand, sort of, you know, they'd have their little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of, uh, lean on the fence having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. Right? <laughs> chat, <laughs> well, you Just know, the, yeah, gossiping. The, the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like... <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fascinating. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just, just gossiping, I understand. So, oh, uh, what's, uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know, it's tuning in. What was the monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, st you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> so what the zookeepers did was, they, uh, they said, I know how they'll have kids. Are we letting that go? Come they on. were just chatting, are we just letting just, that go? We're letting you it know go. what I mean? The, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So, um, so yeah, so the zookeepers were like, yeah, I wonder when they're gonna, you know, have some kids. Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do, t to sort of do to egg them on, yeah. um, bought, um, bought one of them a suit, one a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going! No, I'm not having Shut it. up, Gervais. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of they got, they got married. So and, they got uh, married? Yeah, they got married. Right. What, that's the end of it! That's... This is why I don't- Right, that's the end of monkey news! <laughs> that's the end of monkey news! Don't do that again, you've got no features left! Why don't you like that? What, well, it's not a story! See? It's like, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen, the zookeeper's going, I wonder if they can ever have kids, and come on, they got married, that's the end of the story, what are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down, let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you it mean you didn't make a mistake? Wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What, the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check, let me just check the facts, so they, they, they bought them wedding outfits, they were married, did they propose to each other, or did they, were they just forcibly Don't married? Don't encourage just, him. Just forced. To and it. then what was the outcome? Once they got married, 
What happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa. It's Be not quiet. a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, play it. Which film are you in this week? Uh, looking at Silence of the Lambs. Right, play okay. it. Just play have, it. Have we got a question? We'll no, who cares? Who cares? Should Carl carry on? Play it. Right, Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> the bit where, uh, Jodie Foster is having a chat. <laughs> Good evening, Clarice. Right. Just thought I'd, uh, come and see you. Oh, very thoughtful. Don't mind me popping in, though, do you? It's just... Just no one else is interested in the sort of things I like talking about. People will say we're in love. Well, say what they want. Did you hear the, uh, you hear the show last week? We were talking about gay people. If they should have their own toilets or not, and stuff. That was good. Yeah, it was all right, all right. Got a good, uh, good debate going. Enjoy doing the show. It's, uh, it's a favourite part of my week, really, just talking about weird stuff and that. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. I have a lot of fun in my life. You know, come and see you. And, uh, spend a lot of time on the internet looking up weird stuff. Reading something about a hairy Chinese kid. There's another thing, there's a fella who, uh, no arms and legs. He's known as a pillar man. Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. Bizarre magazine. Yeah, I get this. The hairy Chinese kid, what annoys me is he could sort it out. He could just have a shave, couldn't he? Do you know what I mean? No! He covets. Does he? Well... Use some, uh, some like Emacs stuff. No, don't, don't be getting funny with me. Just because you're in a bit of a mood, right? You know you, you shouldn't eat people. Your eyes are bigger than your belly, I've always said that. So, see you later. Interesting. Uh, atmospheric, moody, and, uh, the question is... Uh, okay, here I have it this. How many films have been made featuring the character Hannibal Lecter? How many films they have been made? They haven't got time to phone in now, have they? No, they can email in. They'll have time. Do you care? I don't, I don't care. No, exactly. Ricky.Gervais, xfm.co.uk, if you can be bothered. If you're interested in what, <laughs> and you want a 4 99 yeah. copy on VHS of Silence of the Lambs. He's dissing that as well, Carl. Then what is it that? A bit annoying, but that's <laughs> it for this week. But it? remember what happened when it... No, it's not. It's nine minutes to don't, three. Don't How can that? Tell him, Steve. No, no, no. no. How English. can that be it? It's nine minutes to three. No. Songbird, I just right. Send Carl a little present. Send him some essential oils or something, or I just I mean a little lavender pillow, or just a little little message. Send him a little message. Tell him it's all worth. It. He's getting all grumpy, aren't you? I just get sick of it. That's all. It's not worth the th for going through the stress for thirty quid every Saturday. You lying little. You would get more than thirty quid. Oh. Not much more. Anyway, Steve, who's the winner? The winner is Mike McNulty. He correctly answered the fact that there were four films featuring Hannibal Lecter. It's a downer now, isn't it? It's a downer. I think yeah. it was you, actually. I mean, I, I, I don't know, Carl. I'm not... It's not like I'm just trying to win myself a place on your team, but <laughs> I actually felt that Ricky was really out of I order gave, I gave him grapes. I thought you... I thought Ricky Grape. was... was discourteous, if that's a word. I thought he was rude, aggressive, unpleasant. As, as one person emailed in, a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so, was it, and someone also said you were fat and talentless. Right. So, um, so, um, oh, well, should, I don't like those emailers who do that sort of thing, but one of them said you were really, really annoying. Well, cheers for that, but you're still and not on the team. Like what you're <laughs> so, back next week. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> he went cheers for that, but you're still not on.